Hola, this is Mara. How are you? This is a tutorial on how to set up your Duolingo Classroom. So the advantage of this tutorial, uh, the, the Duolingo Classroom, is that I don't know if you're familiar with Duolingo. It's an app that helps you um, to, you know, practice, even though it doesn't help you maybe to speak orally, but it helps you a lot to practice in a fun way, grammar or learn new vocabulary. So it has different steps and it's kind of games that you need to collect points. Um, so uh, the only thing with Duolingo Classroom is only works in the desktop. And the advantage of having it beside, um, the advantage before, the differences between the app and doing it in the desktop is I can assign you different, more advanced skills that in the Duolingo app, what you have to do is just complete all the beginner ones to reach to the more advanced ones that you want to go. So this will help you to jump steps without having to do everything. So it's kind of a cool future. Feature. Um, so, okay, let's start. So the first thing that you have to do to set up is and we'll send you a link and a code. The first thing when I'm, I did it with my personal account, so you guys can see it. So you go here and then you go to with the link that the teacher sends you and you click it, okay? And you put enter um, and an image like this should appear. Um, the only thing is like, since I'm already in this course, it should appear join the classroom. So I'm gonna do a new one, a new link, so I can join the classroom with you. So um, let me get another link from here, which is, this is the Duolingo school uh, for the teachers. So I'm just gonna go to my other classrooms um, and I'm gonna go to a classroom that I'm not maybe join, which is this one, for example. So I invite my students that I wanna invite. So, and this is the link I'm sending you guys. So once I send you the link, then as I said, you go to your browser and then you put the link and you appear this, and uh, this, um, how you say, I don't know, this chart or this image and you will say join a classroom, right? And then you will go and click continue okay and this is what is going to appear and this is what is confusing so you don't know what to do now so the things that you have to do right now is go to your settings okay and then you go to progress sharing okay and the teacher also give should give you a classroom code which uh, which we have it in our classroom which is here so we will share this code and you have to um, copy it or um, type it, and then uh, you should find it okay, and say join classroom, okay? So you are all set in here. And now, the other thing that will happen is you have to wait between 20 and an hour before you get an email um, like this, sorry. I'm just gonna go to my personal email. Oh, personal email so just go here I'll go to my personal email where I receive uh, the email and it should say that you have an assignment and so I go here sorry it's taking and it says it should say you have an assignment like this you should receive an email with this um, and in here, you see, you receive like, it will say something, it depends on the assignment, that, and it has like a deadline. I try not to do it for one week so you can do it more, but then you start the assignment, and it will appear something, you see, and you go here, right? And you say, hey, where is the assignment? So the assignment appears here on the right-hand side. Can you see? So on the right hand side, it says memory, and it says due in 12 days. So I'll click it, and then Yo you guys are you know, doing the exercise. I hope this helped you a lot. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. Ciao, ciao, adios.